What I love about Solana Beach is it's a coastal community that has expanded living. There's 7,500 square foot to 15,000 square foot lots, and moving east into Rancho Santa Fe, you can have some very large estates. At the same time, it's very easy to go from any place in Solana Beach down to the Cedros Design District, Fletcher Cove, or the San Alijo Lagoon. Um, it's a place that's loved by a lot of outdoor enthusiasts, triathletes, um, and I think it's a wonderful community to live in. I think one of the most unique things about Solana Beach is the Cedros Design District. It's right along the coastline, there's 85 businesses comprised mostly of architecture firms, art galleries, um, and other interior design stores. Um, also the Belly Up, which is a very well-known concert venue that actually breaks a lot of local acts. Um, and the Cedros Design District is really a meeting place for everybody in Solana Beach to come meet and get to know their neighbors. Real estate values in Solana Beach vary quite a bit, though the bottom of the range is around 500,000. Around South Sierra, there's communities that are built on the sea cliff overlooking the ocean where values start around 700,000. And if you go inland to Rancho Santa Fe, values can get all the way up to 15 million. The reason I would buy in Solana Beach is because it's a very small town feel um, with all the luxuries of a high-end market. There's only 13,000 people that live in Solana Beach, which means you get to know your neighbors very quickly. And being a really exciting area to raise children, Solana Beach school districts are incredible. Um, and you're also surrounded by a lot of other coastal communities like Encinitas, Cardiff, and Del Mar, which make it a very eclectic beach experience.